guys, I'm Violet Benson. Welcome to Too Tired to Be Crazy with me. Um, on every Thursday, the best dating and relationship and blah 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 self love podcast ever. The best. Wait, whoa. Hang on a second. We. We're means- second best. <laughs> okay, you're the best. Okay, sorry. <laughs> That's such a cancer thing to do. <gasps> Instead of just saying you're the best, you're like, okay, I'll take second. <laughs> <laughs> well. Anyway. So today I have two special guests, Amy and Jack, and basically we know each other because I was recently, um, the episode hasn't aired yet, but I was, or maybe it will by the time this comes out. I think it even will, yeah. I was uh, recently on their podcast. I have a brand new podcast called Dating Straight. Woo! Oh my God. Yay! Oh, it's because we're gay. Yes, both of us. um, We have straight people on and we like compare, contrast dating experiences. Yeah, and mostly it's just about us being bad at dating and then getting help from other people. Totally. (laughs) Violet helped us a lot with anal. (laughs) (laughs) Like a lot. Literally true. (laughs) I literally am not having anal sex with anyone. I'm just like always like let's talk about fucking even though like i'm not doing it no it was great it's great yeah yeah i know so much now. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so i'm really excited for our episode it's gonna be really good how's your podcast doing we, we don't, don't know, know. No. we just had our first episode come out and they haven't told us how many people have listened to it yet but we're hoping it's because it's like millions and millions and they don't know how to break it to us that we're like not normal people anymore yeah like uh, so. we should like worry about because, getting bodyguards uh, and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what we're thinking. Anyway, so you guys both have YouTube channels and you have Instagram channels and also your podcast, Dating Stray, which it seems like you guys already have merch or something. That's crazy. This is this is only for us. Like uh, we're the only cute. ones who have this. <laughs> we made two stickers and paid twenty four dollars, twelve dollars for each sticker. We also just made T shirts for just us. And Aww. I lost mine. So oh. It's okay. been great. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, um, you're both on YouTube, but like I was looking at your channel. So your channel, you have like sixty thousand followers on subs on one channel, and then you're like in the ca- in the this. There's a part where it says like go on my other channel. Yeah, I don't yeah, use yeah. this one anymore. And then the other channel is like six thousand yeah. subs, and it's like why do you have two? Oh well, there's a little thing called bad mental health. Ever heard of it, ladies? Ooh. Um, I just like started to not enjoy doing it anymore and then i was like i just need to start over and then i like even stopped doing that yeah he doesn't post anymore yeah it's been awesome just me now yeah (laughs) i've left her all alone on the yeah on the big world wide web (laughs) so and then you also have a youtube channel how many subs do do you have um i almost have like half a million (gasps) yay that's dope. Yeah. Yeah. I, was, I mean, I knew that, but I don't know. I'm just wanted to say that. <laughs> um, yeah. And I post like once a week. I used to post twice a week, but I don't anymore. Just once a week now. Mm. Okay. So you guys <laughs> spill the tea. Okay. Yeah. When did you guys come out? Oh. Ooh. To who? To myself. <laughs> yeah. Actually. Yeah. How about let's that? Let's start with okay. to yourself. I was 13. I would watch Ellen every single day after school. <laughs> and then one day I went home. It's so weird that I did this as a 13 year old. I looked at myself in the mirror and I said, you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. You have to. You're gay. You're gay. And I was like, oh my God, I can't believe she just said that to me. <laughs> um, and then I like kept that to myself, like hooked up with a bunch of dudes. And then- Like sexually? Yeah. Like inside your vagina? No, not a bunch inside my vagina, but I've had like a f- couple within my vag. But anyway, were you like, this doesn't feel right? Yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> I hate this. Um, no, but I also was just like, oh, I'll just be straight. I'll just like be straight, keep it to myself and just be straight. And then at when I was 19, I was like, no, <laughs> not anymore. And then I came out. Is it Was it someone that like you met or something that you're like we know i really like this person or like no but kinda i don't know i had a friend and she was like i'm bi and then i was like what that is so cool wait a second i'm gay (laughs) (laughs) and then and then we were friends and then she outed me to everyone oh Oh, bitch bitch damn and that's that's, and then i came out (laughs) yeah (laughs) what about when did you come out to your parents um well it was going around like my whole like high school because this girl told everyone you were in high school in 19 no i it, <laughs> she's dumb <laughs> <laughs> no no no. i had just graduated the year before but like i i was still like hanging out with all my high school people and everyone still knew each other 
Um, and then she told everyone. And then I was like, oh, I have to tell people. I mean, I have to tell my parents before someone else does. So I told them. She got outed. Poor baby. How did your parents it's okay. take it? They were like, oh, both Aww. you. Are you seeing anyone? And I was like, mom, stop. So embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> and no, I'm not. <laughs> I um. Ooh. Whoa, quiet on set, pilot. <laughs> I like also like had girlfriends, but there were like red flags because I never kissed them. And then and also I, this wasn't like in like sixth grade. And then another one in sixth grade, I like my dating, like my love language was like braiding her hair <laughs> and never kissing her. Okay. And then, then I was like, Jesus Christ, like who the hell do I think I am? And then like one year later, I was like, oh, my God, I'm not gay. And then I was like, wait. <laughs> um and then i was like you really thought um and then i like also kept it a secret and then i also like got outed but like by myself my parents fa caught me in a lie they caught me in a lie and i was sleeping over at like this like guy i was seeing's house at the time i was also like a senior in high school or something um and then they were like, WTF, like, we thought you were dead. And I was like, I'm not dead. I'm just gay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. And then. Right. Yeah, could, yeah. Could you have gotten away with it? Like, could you have just made up a different lie? No. If because you wanted? They went to my friend's house to be like, where is he? And then <laughs> like, literally at like five in the morning, because I didn't come home the night before. And then she was like, um. Couldn't you have just been like, I was at a girl's house? No, because she was like, oh, I think he's been seeing this guy. Oh, my oh. God. Okay, so, so you kind of so been out of you. you. Yeah. yeah, but like she also like, I'm fine with it. Like and it, it was needed so to happen. Obvious. It needed to happen. And then they were like, OK. And when I was like, I'm gay, they're like, OK. Duh. We just like are so glad you're not dead. Aw. Yeah. So like. So you guys both fun. had good experiences where your parents. Very you know lucky. Yes. Yeah. Yeah definitely not everyone's like that like i love because like, i also interviewed shannon and like shannon um had a bev beverage 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 yeah <laughs> <laughs> she also had like a good experience coming out to her parents but not everyone's like that like i've no. i've i have some friends where their parents are foreign and like they're it's usually like one well, of my gay guy friends it's usually like their dad's there's something like gets weird with their with their father and then like w like one of my friends like the father like they haven't spoken for years because he yeah. Yeah. looks down because he, he thinks he's like weak or looks down yeah oh yeah i i mean the first person that i dated like got kicked out of their home when they came out that's so crazy i know it's bizarre i don't know i don't understand it but i'm gay so of course i don't understand yeah <laughs> i don't know i like don't really know too many people in person who have situations like that it's oh. mostly like people i know online that like are afraid to come out mm -hmm. which is like too bad obviously but i think it also is changing a lot even just yeah. since we've come out like I think so too. but we also live in la or maybe it's also because like we have common friends and like where we live it just seems like to me i feel like not i don't feel like everyone's gay but i feel like everyone like likes everyone <laughs> yeah or everyone's gay I Everyone guess. Like, is everyone's gay, gay. <laughs> literally i walking down the street it like doesn't even occur to me that someone might not be gay. Mm. Like if I'm like, oh my God, that guy's so hot. I wonder if he likes me back. And then I'm like, it's not even like, I wonder if he's gay. It's like, we've already reached that level. Yeah. Like I've dated guys. I'm like, they probably gay, but I'll still yeah. date them. Like I just like, mm. yeah. I mean, what do you have to lose? If they're gay, they'll break up with you. Yeah. yeah that that's usually yeah that happens yeah so <laughs> but like i have such masculine energy so i'm like yeah i get totally that wise. i'm like i'm probably like the bridge before they cross over <laughs> <laughs> that's funny yeah um, i used to make out with like a ton of like really feminine guys you did yeah yeah i made out with my whole high school when i was in high school come to mama I'll oh i bet you got mono <laughs> no i don't think i don't I don't remember yeah, getting she's mono. She's a mon ho. <laughs> <laughs> How did you guys become friends? We, we met were gay. on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> we were gay and met on Twitter. Met on Twitter, and then I came to LA because I'm from Sydney, Australia, and then we like collabed. And yeah. then <laughs> well, okay, we. Jack had we, more subscribers than me, and I was like, I've made it. How this tables have turned. Um, <laughs> but actually, we both were mutual friends with Troy Savon. Troy Savon. Yeah. We, you guys know him? Like, like not new. Anymore. Like new. Yeah. yeah new. <laughs> now he's like actually famous. But we so met cool. through him, actually, which is funny. I knew his older brother because we're all from Australia and we're all Jews. 
Yeah. And then Troy is a Jew. Yeah. yeah. And he's from Australia. Yeah. That guy's so cool. He's so cool. Yeah. And he's also sexy, sexy, but whatever. Yeah. Um, and then we would meet your friends and then we met and then we went to VidCon like the next year and then we were and we bendies. partied. And then I spilled literally at like age sixteen. <laughs> don't i don't advocate for this but at age 16 we were hiding alcohol like in our suitcases and i My spilled suitcase. i spilled an entire handle of vodka in her suitcase yeah. it was like one of the first things i did yeah i was like fuck you dude yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we still made it yeah we made wow it. so you guys have been friends for years mm -hmm. since like 2013 yeah like six years at least yeah whoa i don't know yeah it's dope since before i moved here at least so did you guys ever think like we should date each other just kidding <laughs> no no <laughs> we like hung out and we were like are you gay <laughs> yeah it like we it was like unspoken for a while and we, we were, were like, like oh yeah 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 you're gay yeah okay same but cool what is funny also is we also had like a larger friend group and at yeah. the time everyone was straight yeah. literally everybody everyone. except for us and now they're everyone all is gay. gay. Yeah. Like, they like all one by one came out and we were like, knew it. Yeah. Knew it. But I think <laughs> there's something about like when you're around people who accept themselves and they're like, and they feel so normal, then you start to totally. kind of question and be like, am I this then? Yeah. yeah. And it you like feel so normal. Gravitate to each other yeah. somehow. I, I mean, know. gay people stick together. I think even if you don't know you're gay, it's just like you're pulled to that gay energy. Yeah. Huh. That big gay. This is so interesting. <laughs> huh. Okay. <laughs> I'm Thanks for having so us on, Violet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning so much about myself. Yeah. About um, cool. Wait, Jack, have you ever eaten a vagina? Jesus wow. Christ! I was just uh, like, as you're talking and you're like licking your lips, I was like, has he? Have you eaten? Have you ever eaten a puss? Because I feel like that's weird. I feel like that's when you were like, I'm gay. You went down, then you're like, nope. I have not so much as touched a vagina before. You have seen a vagina. Yes, I have seen a vagina. On like the internet, <laughs> not in real life. You I know. am you like. You haven't. <sighs> okay, I don't know how. Okay, I'm a gold star. Do you know what that is? Yeah. Meaning I've never had sex with a vagina. But okay, here's a thing I've actually been thinking about, and I saw a tweet about it, and it was like there is a level of like with labeling. I think in the gay community, when it's like once you're gay, like you say you're gay, you will never ever question again. You know what I mean? But like, I really think that like there is maybe some room for like by curiosity in the gay community um, more than we let ourselves. So you want to bang a chick? Is that what you're? Well, to listen. Say? I mean, listen, listen. Oh <gasps> my god! Guys, please listen. bang. Okay, here's Do the thing. I'm okay. I've been. <laughs> this might be TMI, but I've been watching straight porn recently. Sure. Um, and I am not like definitely not disgusted, <laughs> which I think is a start because I used to be like, oh my god, shield my eyes, right? But, but I feel like over time, yeah, I've been like, I've been like, oh wait, it's actually not really all that different at all. But I watch lesbian porn. I don't have sex with other girls right now. Right now, but like, Forever. but <laughs> maybe know. there's a level of like curiosity that that like could lead to. I don't know. I just think that like me always being like, I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay. Like maybe I'm like close myself off to like jack would you have sex options. with violet what why is everyone offering my vagina like it's so <laughs> you easy. said yeah, it you said it I but... did <laughs> i'm a flirt like i don't actually mean anything i say um i don't would listen you? listen listen take me out wine you and, and dine you yeah wine and dine we'll see what happens <laughs> listen i could have a revelation no i don't i mean i mean i'm pretty masculine i feel like yeah. Maybe that's where you would like me. Yeah, maybe you would be like the dominant one in the relationship. Oh, and like that would, would be totally the dominant you. person in the relationship. <laughs> and, I am in with all my straight relationships. In our episode of Dating Straight, we talked about um, pegging and you said you would do it. Yeah. So maybe we could figure Stop something there. out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See how it feels. Yeah, the wow. obvious beginnings of our relationship. I'm so weird with sex, though. Like, I feel like. It takes me a while to like even get to the sex part. Like I have to feel emotionally connected with someone. Me too. And I like I hate that part because it's like my alter ego is she's like a little sluttier and she's like who I wish I could be. But like 
Like, if I am hooking up with someone and I don't feel emotionally connected to them, I'm literally just sitting there thinking, like, does this feel right? Oh, this is weird. Oh, this is what's happening. It's like a narrator in my brain. <laughs> and I'm just, like, thinking about, like, everything that's happening versus, like, if I'm emotionally connected with someone, it just, like my mind is blank and i'm so focused on them and it's like a, I i want to write like a poem while oh, yeah. we're like making love like it's just like <laughs> i love you so that's i like sweet yeah don't you think that then we would be compatible because that's because you guys are completely would me be so emo together yeah, yeah. we'll it's, talk we'll you're... talk <laughs> no no because um yeah that is true like i i do love emotions and like i am always drawn to people that have a lot of emotions obviously like amy and i are scorpios you are cancer so yeah. we're all incredibly compatible like, yeah we uh, are me and amy are like one of your best matches yeah i mean water signs are stick i don't know i was told that i shouldn't go for a cancer because they're like soul sucking well everybody's told that but you still are drawn to it <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's what's like then i'm like what's wrong with me if i'm drawn to a toxic person i'm just like am okay, i toxic whoa yes i think that's what that means because i am too and so am i so so you're all just calling me toxic right now as a where well, I'm at. Well, no. We're calling ourselves toxic too. No, I'm okay. not toxic. Uh, I'm not toxic. I've worked on myself. I'm good. I've been working on myself. Okay. I'm not toxic. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, Sounds like me. someone. Bitch, back the fuck up. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Sounds like something I'd say if I were toxic. Oh. <laughs> I know when I was toxic. Okay, Britney Spears. There. Anyway, um, <laughs> do you guys know anything about your zodiac signs? Yeah, yeah, I'm like a lot, a lot of Scorpio. I have like seven suns. I don't know. I have planets in the Scorpio. I don't know. Super Scorpio. So I am toxic. Okay, what does it mean to be a Scorpio? Um, You're like really passionate, really possessive, really jealous, really obsessive, but but really like uh, motivated, driven. Yeah. Like, fun to be around. Women like Scorpios around. are really driven. Yeah. Yeah. So that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. I believe that about you. Are I you like really about open me. about being jealous and possessive? Or do you like hold, keep it to yourself and you pretend like you're, you're cool? Uh, both. Sometimes it pops right out. <laughs> <laughs> but but both. I mean, like I, I wish I wasn't jealous. Like that would be the sickest thing ever. We have a friend who is like the least jealous bitch in the entire world. What's her she, sign? She's a Gemini. Oh, okay. And she just seems so much happier. Oh, yeah. Completely <laughs> like, unjealous. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Just like imagine really living life and like when someone does something and you're just like, you just look at it and you're like, huh. Because it's never like directed at you. Like, no, you know? Yeah. yeah. I, I feel like I've gotten less jealous. Like, I feel like I used to be really jealous and I've gotten less jealous. But, like, I still have moments of jealousy. Mm -hmm. And then, like, I'll be like, I have to be perfect. This doesn't make sense. Why do I feel like this? Yeah. Must suppress emotion and pretend it's not happening. Yeah. And like, oh, but like with guys and stuff, they always think like I like them less or I care less about them because I just don't show emotion. But inside, it's like I like I know exactly everything you did last night. Like I fucking stalked <laughs> you. Oh my god, that is so, <laughs> so Amy you're too. Still jealous, but like on the inside. Yeah, and but like I'll talk myself out of it. Oh, like, well, and now you, it's kind of like that's good. You play. I think Scorpios are incredibly emotional but you play it really cool to where you like present yourself as completely unemotional yeah like, yeah mm, yeah i wouldn't say that about me i don't think maybe maybe i play it really cool for like a period of time and then it all falls apart yeah i just feel like right. i just yeah. feel like this a scorpio thing it's like you go from zero to intense like in from yeah. zero to ten so it's like i feel nothing and then i suddenly i want you to look around all the time and i want to tell you but i'm not like i don't know how to say in the middle so then i'm just like on an intense level like yeah. i like you like i want to be around you like let's do this and then the person's like wait what the fuck just happened Ow. and they like run away and you're like, like giving huh. me looks right now amy just hit me in the face <laughs> no, I was trying to shield your eyes it's true yeah amy at least i don't know about you but it sounds like you have the same situation <laughs> is that when you dive in yeah we are water signs yeah. haha -ha, um <laughs> you will not think or see anyone else for like a yeah. good amount of period like you will literally it's like you've been locked away but rather than being like a hermit you've like locked away yourself with someone else you've like handcuffed yourself to someone yeah 
No, I'll still like be around my friends, but like in, like emotionally, like my heart, like I'm just the kind of person. That's what's so funny because because I am like pretty confident these days, and I think sometimes when I date guys, they think they get um, insecure or scared that like I'm gonna go for someone else because I can be flirty or whatever. But like the minute I like you, like you're all I'm thinking about, and I don't mind even noticing anyone else next to me. I'm just thinking about about you the whole time. I feel like I wish people would like realize that when they're dating me. Yeah, I'm that way too. They should listen to this podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should. just send guys. it to their dms yeah <laughs> <laughs> have you ever done that like like just sent like a message you wanted someone to hear like directly like set it in a podcast hoping they'll hear it or like something like that i did that i did that what did sure. you do well i i told a story about how i went out with the girl to the strip club right. on um nick's episode of our podcast and i sent that clip to her and i was like this is you i'm Aww. talking about you because <laughs> i said nice things i was like she's so cool blah, blah, blah. and she was like oh my god <laughs> i need to do that i'm just so direct yeah i'll just be like i just like love everything about you wow that's sweet like right off the bat no 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 it takes me a while like because it's like it's because i'll if i suddenly feel like they don't know how i feel because like this one guy I was talking to or i don't know if i was even talking to him but like this one guy said something about like how uh if we ever do like go as far as having sex, or, like I have to love every part of him first. Like it's so endearing to me, and like I love that. And I was like, oh, I do love every part of you, and yeah. I was like, that's so sweet. So then I had to like, I want to like let him know, like I like love being around you. So like, oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, wait. You have a lot of feelings, I Violet. Have, <laughs> I actually have a question for you. He was a cancer. So it seems he was a cancer. <laughs> um. I feel like you're always kind of talking to people or seeing people or like you're always shooting your shot from what I've heard. At least maybe okay. not. I feel like you have you're always like in DMs or people are in your DMs or like mm. like how do you like like do go that? Out, how do I? It's so funny that like, you're saying you... that because I guess technically I guess I'm always talking to at least two guys that's without what I'm realizing. <laughs> so like, but how... I'm always like I'm so like I'm not talking to anyone. That's how I always do it. <laughs> I guess I don't realize that I am because you don't really care about them at all. No, I I always care about one guy more than the other. Mm. Sure. So then why are you, are you stringing the other guy along? Like what's that? Um, just to take no, the edge it's because off, or... I'm like scared of getting hurt. So I think like I feel like before I when I like someone, I just want to go for that person only. Yeah. And but then I feel like I'm constantly the one that actually gets hurt, even though I don't right. show my emotions. And then those people end up dating a bunch of other people while they're talking to me. So I, it almost like I had to force myself to start talking to other people at the same time oh. now because I don't have a choice because no everyone in L.A. is so afraid of like commitment or actually yeah. liking someone or opening up. So I kind of like have to out talk to two different people yeah. to have them on That's call fair. when one yeah. goes through but i always like like one of them more like there's always one that i want to date and one that i would like maybe hook up with i think i want to hook up i'm not i don't even hook up you with wouldn't anyone. yeah mm -hmm. so, but in theory yeah okay actually speaking of that my roommate um has this theory or he's like you have to be talking or seeing at least three people <laughs> at one time because here's why it takes the edge off no here's the thing no? so you have to be prepared for one of them to not like you back sure. so then you have two and then between the two of them you have to pick your one that you like better so you still have to have those <laughs> like options. practice makes perfect everyone tells me that like i had a friend so that was always... like you have to yeah you have to one that like you one that you're talking to that you're just talking to then there's one that you're fucking and you know they'll that person will never want to date you and then the third person you're going out on dates with you want to date them so yeah. you won't be fucking them oh so eventually that'll be your boyfriend you're not that into them so they'll be more into you yeah and that's who you're gonna end up with even though you want to be with a guy you're fucking and you have someone you have two people to compare it to like if you really like this one you know that it's just no, not she's like saying that you date the one that you don't want that much that's who no, you but end you up with well, that's not right. You got to. I think it out. that's the opposite of yeah, this whole theory. Oh. <laughs> it's like completely you want the one not that what you're I'm like saying. obsessed with. Yeah, and then because when you have when you compare it to two other people, you know and that like, it's like oh, I it's really like I like really know I like them. It's not like I just like them more than one other person. But that's too hard for me. Like honestly, like when I like someone, I just like only focus on them. Like that's who I like. Like that's oh, it for me. But same. a lot of times it feels like. Um, it's not the same, but I guess in a way, because because on my ghosting episode, I said, like, I've never been ghosted. Yeah. So, like, it's literally because my confidence level is high these days. No, I wouldn't care. I, when I say <laughs> I've never been ghosted, it means I didn't even notice it. Yeah. So if someone and I stopped talking oh it just God. my confidence level is high enough that if like I like that. Jack. It takes years to get. There. I know. I listened. And honestly, you had some really good advice. Thank you. Like, um, oh, my God. 
I mean, you've already said this. So I don't know why I'm bringing it up, but the whole like knee thing about how like when you if you're when you break your knee, mm-hmm. like you let yourself heal before doing an act, any more activity. But when you are hurt, wow. you like try and hurt yourself more. That was like, I was like, oh my God. That's <laughs> well, insane. yeah, I heard that on a TED talk and I was like, that's like, that is so true. But yeah, like we don't take care of ourselves emotionally. So then when you hurt your knee, you don't keep, you don't go and keep running. You wait for your knee to heal. But then when you, someone breaks your heart, instead of like letting, like allowing yourself to heal, you're just like, ah, oh, you're so fucking stupid. Like, of course you're such a loser. Like, of course that person doesn't want to be with you. And you're just like, you know knocking yourself down more and it's so important to take care of yourself emotionally so i think that's why now when it's not working out for me with someone i kind of have to look at it realistically and i always look at it in a way where why would i be sad when that's when that person lost me oh you're amazing yeah that's literally yeah you're so confident i am confident like you'll still pay me like and if i'm around them i'll kind of be like ah shit but like i'll know in my heart like that can't be my person because yeah my person wouldn't let me go and like and yeah why would i be sad like i am fucking amazing like that's you are just, yeah thank you of course we all are we all are. we all yeah. need to think that way Cute. yeah so that's why i feel like i've never quote unquote been ghosted or if it doesn't work out with someone i get over them really much faster now because it's kind of like i force myself i deal with my emotions and then i just keep going because it's like fuck them Next time I get ghosted, I'm contacting you immediately. Being like, yeah. Violet, send me a text every hour on the hour. Be my cheerleader. <laughs> yeah, because you don't like miss that person as much as you think you do. You miss the feeling. And like now that I realize that, like I understand that when it's not working out with someone, then I'm just like, oh, I love how they made me feel. Because actually, I just saw a quote that I took a screenshot of and it was so true. And it said, um, it said, you fall in love with people who make you love the person you are when you're around them yeah and like that's you so true. like yourself yeah. better when you're around them and that's why like when someone that I was talking to they felt like they were inadequate when they're with me or they like i'm too good for them and so on and that made me realize oh they'll they never fall in love with me yeah mm-hmm. because like they don't i don't make them feel good about themselves just because like my success or whatever even though i could care less when i'm with them like i just love how they make me feel yeah, you want someone who's like like yes babe go get that coin yeah no that that person is like that yeah. like he i think he felt like but deep down, he like didn't he felt no, he told me like he felt. Oh, you're right. You're right. Right. Ooh. He felt like yeah, he always would say like, I just feel like I don't deserve you. And like, you deserve so much better yeah. than me. So like, I read that quote. I was like, oh, he'll never like fall in love with yeah. me because yeah. of that. I was also told yesterday, actually, that grief takes a full year. So if you're like going through a breakup and you're really sad, you have to like allow it for a fucking year. If you're a cancer, though, seven Oh, my years. God. <laughs> Guys, I Wait, literally. Let's talk about being a cancer. Literally, yeah. if we want to talk about being a cancer, I have i went on a like what I'll, uh, this guy i don't want to say his name obviously i went on a date with this guy like five times or something really fell hard and then he kind of like oh, soft God. ghosted me you know what i mean like he didn't really like end it but he just like kind of let me down easy but which like what even was worse say? and i still think about it to this and this was like last year i mean he first of all he just like stopped kind of talking to me as much like slowly and then we went out and got coffee and like didn't kiss at the end and it was like i still when i was listening to your ghosting episode i was like oh my god like fully 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 i still think about this guy i also think about a guy that i had dated like two years ago that actually ended well but because i moved from boston so like i hold on to things and I only saw that guy for a month. That is a cancer so, like, thing. Yeah. I hold, hold on, on. lovers. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I just like think about, I definitely am like a Love romantic, been. hopeless romantic where I like only remember the good things about things and forget all the red flags and the bad things that happened Aww. like right away because I just like, I don't even care. I like let things slide for sure because mm. I like only want to see the best in people. I'm like that too. Yeah. I'm also like that. Oh shit, guys! <laughs> shit, guys! <laughs> we all have too many feelings. Way but, too many. But yeah. a lot of my, the rest of my chart is like pretty fire. Not like Ooh. fire, like fire, fire baby, <laughs> fire it's signs. Like, like I'm fire. a lot of fire signs. Yeah, that's and like cool. so, it's it is interesting how I'm um, a Scorpio, but then the rest of my stuff is like like a lot of like different fire signs. I see that Sad. you give off fire sign vibes where totally. you're like spunky and you like. I feel like I give off like I'm an Aries totally Fine. but then deep down you are very sensitive like when you actually yeah talk about things. and like yeah i like see the best in people and like and I, but you know what i hate are you guys ever like i hate when someone tells me not to do something because whenever i like like someone's oh, and yeah. everyone around me is like yo that person is toxic stay away and i'm like 
Hell yeah. Hell fucking yeah. I Sign want that now. Oh like, my God. why would you tell me to not go for it? You guys like that too? I only love douchebags. It's like the thing about me. Yeah. Jack like people like wants to get will be like, oh my God, stay away from this one. And literally I'm like, damn, like, is anyone looking? And I'll like DM <laughs> them right away. My friends. Okay. I just became like, um, what's it called? Eskimo siblings. Is that right? Yeah. When like you've slept with all the people your friends have. Like my friends and all the people okay, well, in the swamp. Yeah, well, yeah, okay. Eskimo is in my the one, in my case. You, it's all. In my case, we are a family of Eskimo <laughs> oh siblings, now, and they were like, "Don't hook up with him. Like he's weird and he's super clingy, and like he'll message you all the Jack, time." You want that? I know. And then I like went and hooked, and I messaged them on the way. I was like, "Guess where I'm going?" And then <laughs> hooked up with him, and it like wasn't that good, and now he's really clingy. Um, oh, sad. But, okay, so wait, explain that to me with you because. You're kind of clingy, but then when a person because I only like else- douchebags because oh. I want them to not reciprocate. Hmm. Why is that? Why do you think you are like that? Yeah, um, what is it about like your childhood that makes you this way? <laughs> I have a really good childhood. I don't know. I think I um, well, okay. Here's an interesting like theory that um some gay people have like come up with before is that um gay people like automatically are at a disadvantage mm-hmm. in relationships because as a kid you don't really get the chance to experiment or like fail with dating as much because like you don't really have anyone to date because you aren't out you only um, that like you have your like teenage dating years in your 20s exactly instead so of like teen years so like when you're in high school and you date someone for a month we are doing that years and years later yeah so like we're still far behind so i still haven't had in my eyes like a real boyfriend ever right yeah i only really started dating when i was 21 so i think i like and i'm kind of straight right (laughs) (laughs) kind of you're dating straight um but so i think that is why i like douchebags is just because i like when you're a teen girl when you're a teen girl Heartthrob. You want a heartthrob that like is going to break boy. your heart. Yeah. I don't know. And I, who knows why that is. Okay. So then you're clingy with people who don't want you and ghost mm-hmm. you. But then as someone that's like, okay, I like you. Then that freaks you out and you take a step back. I mean, not always, but like, I, like I've had Maybe guys you're who, not actually ready. Maybe, maybe you, you don't want really. I don't know. Yeah, that's what it but is. But I've had yeah. guys who like me back or tell me they like me back and I still like them. But then they end up not liking me back. And that's when I really break, like my heart gets broken. So like sometimes I'm well, ready for it. Can I tell you just... a quote? Yes, please. <laughs> You're full of quotes today. <laughs> <laughs> Always. Um, there is this quote or this something that I read and it was like, um, you're going to keep pushing people away until you're going to end up alone. And like, that's so true. <laughs> Jesus. So, there, so that you're saying there's no silver lining. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's well, no, there isn't unless you realize that like within yourself last year, two years ago, I felt like, I think I felt like that. And I'm just like, Oh, I'm always just like, cause you build up so many walls and you just like hope everyone's going to break through it. And then I remember one time one of my guy friends just like told me straight up and he was like, listen, like you are like a beautiful girl. You're amazing. You're smart. You're everything, but you put up so many walls, like no one, fe- like no one's going to try to break through them and you're going to end up alone. And I was like, all right, well, okay, so what are we ordering <laughs> today? <tonight? laughs> cool. yeah. It's like, didn't I? Thank, like, thank you. But like, <laughs> it like really stuck with me for years because he wasn't wrong. And first I was just like, well, that's rude in my head. Yeah. But like years later, I was just like, oh, that is true. Like wow. I am going to, I am kind of alone because I'm always pushing people away. But now I feel like I've tried to be more open and then now I feel like How's it going? people run away. <laughs> so I don't know. Like the thing is with dating is that it's meant to not work out with every person you date of until course. you meet the right person. Yeah. Everyone thinks that the hardest part about dating is meeting someone. But the truth is that the hardest part about dating is letting go of all the wrong people that you're dating. Oh my God. Cause yeah. when we date someone, we just want to make it work at one point. And like, it's so hard for us to let go. And like, I feel like I've been in that situation every time, like even recently. And cause you just want to see the best in people. But it's like, you have to be like, that's not your person. Yeah. <laughs> I have a question for you guys mm-hmm. that I debate in my head. It's like, so sometimes after the first date, immediately I'm like, I am not interested, right? So I will tell them, I'll be like, thanks, I had fun tonight, like not really interested. But I'm also like, I can't expect everyone to like give themselves to me immediately or me to even give myself to them after one date. So like how much time would you give someone before cutting ties? Yeah, I would never do that after the first date. I do that too. You would always go on a second date? No, no, no. I don't know. (laughs) 
So yeah. research found that um, you need to go on at least three dates in order to yeah, s- figure like, out whether or not they're a match for you. But I'm like not my best self on a first date, like I'm scared. But most of the time in my after I've gone on three, I've done that before. Then it's like, oh, I already knew I didn't like them after one. Mm-hmm. After three, I still don't like them. Now they just like me more and I'm going to break their heart more. And then I seem like an asshole. No, I don't think so but i mean like what you do is you'll go out on a, on a date you'll be like oh i don't like them and then you'll tell them you'll be like actually like nothing is here we're done which like i don't think you should do because what if you see them out in a year and it's like oh wait actually, yeah i on. feel like i regret that sometimes i'm too like i feel like i i used to burn bridges and i try not to because then you may change your mind or whatever but totally. well one thing i've learned with guys you guys don't you date guys but yes. you don't. But like one thing I've learned is that like in the past, no matter how mean I would say something, like guys always forgive because it's like you have a vagina and they're like, dope, I like that. And Jesus. <laughs> so they'll forgive. <laughs> but like, um, yeah, it's important to not burn bridges. Now I feel like if someone is going to nonstop text me, then I'll explain to them how I feel. But I'm yeah. pretty forward with how I feel always. Me too. But like when someone right after a date, if someone's like, I had a great time, like all. You, um, you can say I had a good time, too. I know, but then they're already asking me out on a second date. Like, am I just going to be like, yeah, and then like... No, just do what all the other guys are doing to you. She'd be like, sure, yeah, let's hang out soon. Let me check my schedule. Uh, I think I'm going to Germany for a year. Not sure. (laughs) That makes me feel like shit. I don't know. I'm too nice. I I just don't want to contribute to the cycle of like what what makes me upset. You know what I mean? Which is like when I... Are you too nice? Because you also just explain how you get clingy with guys who don't want you, but then you a minute a guy like likes you or telling like they're quote unquote clingy, even though you're clingy as fuck, let's be honest. And then you're just like, oh, I don't want this. It's like, but you did want it. So you should, I maybe you should just act less clingy. That'll never happen. <laughs> That'll be the day. <laughs> no, because you don't, because no one likes when someone's like immediately clingy. And that's why you don't like these guys who are clingy to you. So if you just acted cooler, like I've been telling you for literally years, then maybe you would get the guys, the douchebags that you want. I'll tell you what it is. It's because you like the chase and you love the idea of it. And, but the thing is, I think you said you've never had a boyfriend before or a real relationship. I think the idea of like you getting hurt is really scary to you so when someone really likes you and i'm not fully sure if you fully love yourself yet or not but it's kind of hard to be like how could you love me so fast if i don't even love myself yet and almost like you don't believe that person Whoa. so when there no one wants someone super clingy okay immediate. but here's here's well it here's, just feels like you don't believe it to play devil's that. advocate yeah because it's like how could you like me i'd spend one it's day it's not true there are people there who are like this feels right and they just go for it like yeah. usually like two areas here's here's my <laughs> devil's advocate thing that i like to think because i'm a hopeless i like believe in the best and i'm whatever yeah this is actually a something that alexis g zoll has recommended to me well, also um she is like she has always said like you don't have to pretend or like play the game or anything like that because when you do find a person that you're truly compatible with you'll both feel that way You'll and be going you won't, at the same you won't pace, yeah. feel like each other is clingy because you'll both be going at the same pace anyway. Yeah. So like there is also like a little dance to it. Like you can't just be texting like triple text every day. I don't, I don't think I don't, I don't, do that. I don't know. I don't think so. I really agree with what he's saying, but I think it's like when you get older. Well, Jack in the beginning, like, no. yeah, it is playing games because you don't know if someone like like, what are we looking for, blah, blah, blah. But me, like, I just, like, jumped into things because I just go with my emotions and I don't think logically. So a lot of times people always, or even jobs, people always tell me that, like, I'm a wild card because no one knows what I'll be thinking and what I want to do because I'm very impulsive. Uh-huh. And, like, I th- find that endearing, but apparently that's, like, one of, one of my flaws because even my <laughs> mom was like, I love that about you, Violetta, but, like, to be honest, I think it makes people not feel safe because you can, uh-huh. like, one second it's like i want this i want to be with you i want this and the next second you're like i don't want this i want to do this instead so it's like it can be scary for people yeah so maybe you're scaring people i'm definitely <laughs> scaring people but yeah like what maybe is the give, answer give my go give my way a try one time ever okay what's your way just like play it a little cooler he's he is a big texter like he'll text them a lot like too much like way too much i usually don't like double text but i will like as All soon as as soon no but as soon as they text me i'll text them back like, like I, I i can be like that too it just depends like yeah but if 
come on, it hasn't worked yet. So let's try. Fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> so let's just try. Okay, but way. Amy, yeah. you are insanely closed off to love and but stuff. She? So why don't we why don't right we now. talk about you? Uh -oh. Ooh. <laughs> you know, I was actually trying to avoid that this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like at least Jack is out there, like putting himself out there. No, and, but like, I'm I'm only Thank that you. way right now because I'm not ready. Why are you Violetta? ready? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like. <laughs> Um, I'm just not right now. Do you guys believe in love at first sight? No, but I believe in love at first, like convo, maybe. Um, isn't that like love at first sight? I don't believe you could be like across the room and be like, <gasps> no, but like, yeah. But like, yeah. I think you could like talk to someone for the first time and be like, I'm completely infatuated with you. And that could be true. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I agree. Right? Yeah. Is that, so you guys ever felt that to people? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah me too that's why I, i've been heartbroken still with this guy i've only been on like five dates with a year was ago. because yeah it was because the first time literally the first time i like walked into the restaurant we were meeting at i was like holy fuck and then like first peep that came out of my mouth i like couldn't stop smiling and then mm -hmm. like that night we also like after the date we were like oh my god let's hang out soon and he was like oh my god come over <laughs> so i was like there are things like that where i think yeah, I mean, obviously, like, you can get along really well with someone. Sometimes you're just side. drawn to people and you just don't know why. But yeah. like, I don't think it always means it's meant to, it, it means something. Of course not. Yeah, you could just be, like, best but friends. But love doesn't, I don't think, has to mean that it's, like, Immediately. meant to be also. Aww. Like, you can still feel love and it doesn't have to last forever. That's so true. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like think that. all relationships, friendships, relationships last forever but they're important for like a certain amount of time in your life oh yeah everything's for like learning exactly i agree have you guys ever felt like you changed yourself a little bit in order to make someone love you sure yeah, yeah. I, think, I think when you get in a, a relationship like you do change like you both change for sure and then when you get back out you like change again <laughs> i think definitely on first dates i'm Tra sometimes try and change myself because in the gay community there's a lot of like oh you want to present more masculine or like um or i try and try and play it very much cooler than i am and like things like that which i think end up usually not working in the end because you can't like if you don't go in opening up like being yourself then like they're gonna either like someone else that you're not yeah or they're not gonna like you because you weren't who you were if that makes yeah. sense no that does make sense I didn't change yourself. Um, not try and, but like accidentally change yourself. I think I changed myself in a way where suddenly things I like or my hobbies like change a little bit. And I've noticed that about me before. Maybe when I was younger, it was more because I also didn't understand my identity or who I was. Mm -hmm. And like, I just care. I just needed someone to love me like so bad. And like, I just, it's like, I would do anything for you to love me. And like, it never worked. A, I, and, and then when I got older, I realized, oh, because I didn't love myself. So like, yeah. I felt like I was never good enough for that person because I wasn't good enough for myself. Mm -hmm. And then like, I got over that, you know, and I'm more than good enough for myself. So now if I change a little bit, it's more like if they're a musician, then maybe I'll suddenly talk about music a little bit more. Or if they yeah, an athlete, and I'll... I don't valid. think that's changing. Yeah, that's good. That's just like... But like, I feel like maybe changing if like, I've realized now that if I am jealous or if I'm possessive or if I like I do want to talk to somebody, like eventually the real my real self is going to come out. So if I'm dating somebody that is not like quote unquote as a jealous person maybe it's just not compatible with me and maybe in the beginning i'm just like try to pretend like i'm a cool girl i don't care about this i don't care about that but then it's like you know what fuck this like i do care about this and i do care mm -hmm. about that yeah. and eventually like it comes out anyway and then we don't work out so now i'm like fuck it i'll just be straightforward from the beginning because i'd rather just end faster yeah yeah just, like, like, work, yeah like, <laughs> no that's good honestly because then it's like less heartbreaking the less the yeah. less time it is i yes. think maybe yeah my friend like taught me something really great a while back which like i started to follow is that i used to kind of um not play games but not be fully forward with like my feelings or anything so mm -hmm. i kind of like try to keep it cool but she was just like I don't know me personally I just feel like I want to make sure like I give it my all like I'm gonna make really try and I'm gonna say everything I feel and if it doesn't work out then I know I tried and then I can move on and I love that That's what I'm saying Amy 
Yeah. I don't. <laughs> no, so now I go with that. That's cause like not what Because then, because then you're gonna sit there and you'd be like, well, what if, what if, if what I would have told them this and this, like maybe it would have worked out. But now I feel like I'm so like I'll say exactly what I feel, and then if they deny me or they don't feel the same way, then it's like I tried, and now trust me, like you, will, I know you will regret it because like you're gonna be the one that's gonna lose me, and that's gonna suck for and you. And they saw me, like they, if they saw me and still don't want me, then. Fine. But you guys, you can't do stuff like this like on the first date. No, this like, isn't a no, first date conversation. Obviously, no. I would never talk about like that <laughs> oh. in person. Okay, what? you guys, I have a question. Since yes. you're a lesbian and yeah. you're gay, hi. I was wondering if you guys had myths, myths, myths about yeah. each other. Like you know, like some, like you, Jack. Like, is there things that you that you think about lesbians that she can tell you if it's true or not? And then like Amy, if you can tell him things about that you think about gay guys that he can tell you if it's true or not. Ooh. Honestly, we are pretty true to size. Like Jack, like you think of gay guys like hooking up a bunch, and like Jack's totally up to that. You think of lesbians you hauling. I'm totally up to that. <laughs> um, I mean, like those are like the main. I wear. Um, Plaid. <laughs> <laughs> I guess there's a myth of like um gays and lesbians hating each other, no. which I don't think is true. Not true. Obviously. Look at um this. but um Bezies. Bezies, Bezies for Rezies. The Rezies. Um so I don't think that's necessarily true. I think the LGBT community's like gotten closer in it even yeah. what type? over time. Yeah. Um together. What else is there? I mean, I guess there's a myth about Les what lesbians look like because i think there's oh, a bigger yeah. myth of like all lesbians being butch lesbians i am not a butch lesbian <laughs> i actually don't know if i really know any butch lesbians well, butch, in la butch is changing now because when you think of butch you think of like oh, what's her name from um orange is new black that that chick she like literally has a tattoo on her that says butch and she's like oh yeah really yeah, butch yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um but that is now changing i feel more like androgynous because mm -hmm. i know like a lot of androgynous people right that's different that um i think like 2019 butch is dying out now it's androgynous because i also don't really know anyone like that i can think of that's like butch yeah maybe that's also like a la thing potentially oh yeah could be but like I don't know, so that's like maybe a little all the butch people are in Ohio. <laughs> Wait, Amy, I need <laughs> I just, to know I've never this. Been to Ohio. I need to know this. Yes. Do do girls care about what vaginas look like on other girls? No, no. Because you know how like girls with boys. Well, you don't know, but me, you know, you had sex do, with guys. So maybe do boys care about vaginas? No, they don't. But like, <laughs> are they like? Fuck but girls, that vagina. The girls sometimes get insecure about their vaginas and they're like, oh, I don't love it. Like, it doesn't, like, I don't know if I love my vagina. But then it's like, now you're with another vagina. So do you guys yeah. compare each other's vaginas or like, um, are, is that ever like, oh shit, your vagina is nicer <gasps> than mine? What? Wait, remember the, 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 the vagina number one, vagina number two, and then there's all the middle vaginas? Yeah, I mean, we definitely will, like, even me and all my friends, we, like, we have, there's, like, a chart of all the different kinds of vaginas, and it's like, oh, I'm a number three. <laughs> it's like, yeah. no, I'm a number seven, you know? And so they're like, all play that beautiful. Game, and they're all beautiful. <laughs> all vaginas are different and pretty. So you don't, like, care what a vagina would look like on a girl? No, no, I don't care. That's cool. <laughs> dope, 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 dope. I guess I would care. Also, like all <laughs> all penises are different, are they not? Yeah. I honestly haven't seen yeah. a penis in like yeah. Six, I think six, there six, are like years. prettier and uglier penises though, for sure. <gasps> I all penises are beautiful. All I guess, I guess, but I I don't know. Everybody I've been on is a, different for sure, and I'm sure that people love all different types of penises. But there are certain penises that are for me, and others that aren't. <laughs> I went on a date with a guy who ended up having a micro penis. Like that was not my game plan. Like that was not <laughs> wait, where I but, was headed. Wait, Watch but do you out. consider yourself a top or a bottom? What does that matter? <laughs> oh, it matters. Yeah, it matters. <laughs> bottom. <laughs> so that's why it would matter. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm like a wannabe top, but I'm definitely a bottom. Can two tops date and two bottoms date, or it has to be a top and a bottom? No, dating? they can, and then they can just. There's a lot of open relationships where they'll have like, you can date, and then they'll just see other people as well, like sex, sex wise, um, or they'll have like more threesomes. I or, hate this. 
Oh my god, Violet. <laughs> this is a, not a myth about gay culture. Is that like? Oh no, not. I don't hate of, this for gays. I mean, I hate this for myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. someone yeah. and it's like open relationship. Oh, me too. I no, I, I know. I, I couldn't. I don't think I, don't I, think I, I could either. do that either. Yeah. But that's why also I think dating is hard in the gay community. Is like, you a lot of guys don't want to commit um, to like a closed relationship. So if you're going into a relationship, you kind of expect an open relationship. And I personally don't really want that. I mean, it's fine. If, like a lot of my friends are in open relationships and it's great for them. But I don't think me as like a fragile, <laughs> fragile cancer that I would do well with that. I don't think I would do well with that either. At yeah. all. I thought like at a point that that's what I wanted and I don't. Yeah. So change my mind. Yeah, yeah, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's why a lot of gay guys don't want to get together is because they love Okay. random sex yeah which is fair like good fine good for some people but not for me and then others who are in relationships still want that so there's a ton of open relationships but yeah. but if, like i mean to each his own like exactly but like also like i wish to there <laughs> to each his own like i wish there were more who um well that the person that you find for you won't want one exactly. i know i know because I know. that's gonna be your beach i know but i wish that there were more of them maybe <laughs> i think Lots you'll find stuff. them you're so young you're 22 for like sure when you're in your early 20s you're literally change every year you're becoming a different person that's true. yeah so like that's why research found that um the type of men that tend to get the most divorce are men that get married under 25. Oh, oh, well, that, that, that will sense. never happen. That will not be happening <laughs> That here. makes so much sense. Like, I, you're not a fully formed person until yeah. you're, like, No, like, I, 30, yeah. I had a boyfriend for, like, so many years in my early 20s, and, like, um, you know, I wasn't seeing anyone else. He had the opportunity to still be seeing other people without me knowing, so, oh. like, that worked out for him dating was where we got to see what he wanted and what he liked and uh -huh. what he didn't. Oh, my God. But, like, it's fine. I, so I, you didn't know until, like, no, after he was it was on me. over? yeah but it's fine like i'm not did also, he like, tell you how did you find out i was always suspicious about <laughs> like this one story sure. this is how innocent i am like oh no he he randomly was like texting me and stuff and then he'd be like hey remember that dick pic i sent you two weeks ago can you send that to me and i was like what, what? and i was like what? what why would you want it and he's like oh my fucking god just send it to me i just want to look at it like i just want to see what my dick looks like just send it to me i swear i'm gonna break up with you like you're the worst Whoa. and i was just like oh my god no i'm so sorry of course like no. here it is and i sent him his dick pic and of course like never crossed my mind like oh because he's sending it to other girls you idiot and i'm like that's so weird why would he need his own dick pic girl no girl. even the way that he spoke to you <laughs> yeah that's like beyond that's beyond. Yeah, yeah 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 also he could just scroll up in the conversation <laughs> Find your take another one. Yeah, I, don't know. I mean the the point. I mean, he like wanted you to know. Oh, I feel like sometimes he did want me to be jealous, and then of I would just but I was too oblivious. So oh. I, like I wouldn't. I would just be like, because I feel like some relationships you get into, and you really like the person, and you're like, well, why would they do anything wrong to me? Well, they mm -hmm. want you to. Some people who are bad at dating want you to feel insecure. I think like yeah. they just think that that is hot, hot, <laughs> and no, but like that you will. Um, like stay with them because you're so insecure yeah. yeah. that you, but yeah. I, you couldn't get someone else. You'll have daddy issues. But I'm also like I did though, like I did want him to love me, but like I'm also not resentful. Like I don't look at it and like, well, he ruined everything for me. But the point was is that in my early twenties, like I was with somebody for so long, and so I didn't get a chance. I feel like to really date. So I feel like only my late twenties or like even the past like two years mm -hmm. is when I finally like dated for the first time and i was like oh i like this oh i don't like this and i sometimes i feel resentful towards myself that i stayed with someone for too long because yeah. i didn't get a chance to like to really start dating i feel like i started dating like so late so when the point like is the gay you, issue we were talking about i have the gay issue yeah. <laughs> so the point is you're you're 22 and like you have more than enough to like get to know yourself and get to know other people so i feel like you'll be fine but like mm. i just i'm so sick of like this whole like stigma now where i feel like with dating it's like everyone has to be heartless and like and like you you know it's cooler if like i'm more heartless because that means i like you less like it's like what happened to like you know having feelings and like love and all that like why are people so jaded these days i've yeah. been cheated on by every single one of my boyfriends and i still look at love as like it's like the most amazing thing in the world wow i have to stop talking <laughs> oh no <Aww>. violet <laughs> no listen everything happens for a reason like you're supposed to, even though like you stayed with that person for so long and you're like, why the fuck did I stay Girl. with them? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> 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 it's early. It's, <laughs> yeah. I think I'm like, just tired. Anyway, you guys yeah. talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. Like, it's like, why did I 
get back together with that person like so many times over it's like everything is a learning experience like you just have to learn these things and so you can grow and so you can and i think like the fact that you are so emotional about these things shows that like you actually do have the capability of like like love is important to you yeah clearly yeah and i think that's like really good yeah because i don't even know why i just started to hear up when i'm talking i think it's so into what i'm talking about like i feel like every emotion of anything i talk about yeah (laughs) but it's because obviously you're in touch with those feelings yeah like when when you find someone else who is just as in touch with them you're gonna work out great and you're gonna have like obviously a very intense love (laughs) like i can see that so i think it's like i wish everyone kind of like had like you thought, guys are honestly perfect for each other. Love. I wish everyone thought <laughs> love cancers was better. Cancers are really wow. compatible. Yeah. Um, oh my God. Well, I wasn't always like this. I feel like, I, again, it took me forever to date and then even took me forever to show emotion. So now it's like I feel everything intensely because it's yeah. like it's finally out there. But I think I'm just, I I don't know why I got emotional. I have to think about it. <laughs> you see, I have to think about it later. But I think it's because like, it, it does make me sad that so many people are so jaded these days because like again like i've been cheated on and like i don't view the world as so dark like i still view like the world is so beautiful and like i view like love is so beautiful and it makes me really sad that other people like once they get hurt or something they just get so closed off and like it's like it's over it's like no like your first love is nothing compared to you like your second love like that's gonna be your real love like mm. you're meant to get your heart broken until you find the right person like yeah. i don't know so it, it makes me sad and then i feel like someone like i don't i can't like find my right person probably because like people end up being so closed off and i'm over here like like writing cute little poems and all that like, people just don't understand me <laughs> no, but then the right person for you isn't going to be one of those closed off people That's yeah cool. if everybody like felt or, like kept love as like gave it so much weight as you give it i think the world would be a better place <laughs> So okay, I am the opposite of both of you. So. Yeah, <laughs> Amy's like, the problem here. I'm the closed off. I used to be. Person. I used to be closed off until like I feel like almost a uh, maybe a year, two to a year or two two years ago. I was still yeah. really closed off. Like yeah, this yeah. is like I have time. Pretty new yeah. to me to just like, you know. But I don't know. I just I get over things because when people are like oh that person cheated on you, what an asshole. I'm like you know shit happens. Like it like I chose to stay with that person. I just I just have no reason in my heart to have any like hate or resentment towards anyone. Like I just I just want to find happiness and I am happy but like and I want to find love and like I'll find it with someone. I don't know. Mm. No, I don't feel like I'm closed <laughs> Me off too, because girl. I hate anyone. Like that's not why No, I... because you don't want to get hurt, but like the thing is i feel like i've learned that even when i'm closed off and i didn't want to get hurt i still ended up getting hurt because i didn't express everything i wanted to express and i was still hurt yeah so it's like when how do you win (laughs) well i have just decided that i'm gonna stay home for a year and then then i'll try again (laughs) i'm just taking it (sighs) slow um okay so aside from that let's uh switch the subject (laughs) because uh and instead of like you guys feeling any emotions i'm the one that just teared up (laughs) and i have glitter on my eyebrows it's like this is not my day (laughs) glitter on my eyebrows i'm crying like this is oh not my God. hey emotions and glitter are in like, yeah all that glitter is gold am i right yeah all that glitters is goals <laughs> girl um <laughs> wait so anyway so do you guys have a story about like one of like your worst dates like the worst like nightmare date or actually like a worst sexual moment that's more fun. Last sexual moment. You we actually away, talked Jeff. about this on our last podcast, on our podcast last episode, didn't we? Oh. Or with you. No. Right? Well, you I were complaining know. about, I forgot, like you were complaining about some guy that, what did you not like yeah, about him? He made me kiss him for like 20 minutes straight. And that was the only thing. He was not kinky at all. That was like his kink was like getting me to kiss him for 20 minutes. And like my eyes were open because I was so bored. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> Yeah, See, I mean, but his perfect person would love it, you know. Would yeah, be love, like, yay! I love kissing. Which again is weird because he's a cancer, so he's so emotional. So maybe you just didn't like the guy enough. No, I did not like him. Because if you were emotionally Literally. connected to somebody, I feel like you probably want to kiss them. Oh my like, god, I kiss well, them And if he an were hour. my, if he were my person, he would also be kinky too. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> like, sure. like, yeah. Oh, I hate people that are so vanilla. Oh my god, it is. There is nothing like that. It, it is so aggravating. Yeah, I was talking to some guy and he was like, mm-hmm. I don't do toys in bed or something like that. And I was thinking like, okay, well, you don't make me come and you don't want yeah. toys? Like, <laughs> dope. Like, what a fun life it's for like, me. Spit on me. I dare you. Nope. Come on. <laughs> Jack. Do you, are you into that? Getting spit on? Of course. Oh, my God. 
what do you do with it i was just i was just interviewing some girl that she's like she loves when her boyfriend spits on her face but then i was like where does it go like do you wipe it or do you just like leave it there while you're having sex or yeah you can just like leave it or like Sometimes this. Am I allowed to like really talk about this? I would take I'm on, daddy issues. Okay, okay. I mean, sometimes I like when they spit in my mouth. Then it, you know where it where it goes. You know, you swallow it. Yeah, or I would I, throw up. But I'm I'm very. Yeah, I mean, easy it's, to throw. it just <laughs> goes where it goes. You know what I mean? It's like it just stays put. I guess. I'm really not into spit. Like I can't handle that. Not. not That's the just sexy not for me. For me, yeah. Spitting. It's just coming not- on my face or threesomes not for me. Never been, never tried it, never will try it. Never tried a threesome either. Amy has. I had one one time and it's also not for me. And I, <laughs> I with like the boy in with, the middle. With, with there was a boy there. No, or? no, no, no. All girls. Wow, sounds like a fun sleepover. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it wasn't for me. I was like, why? Why am I here? Yeah. Were you guys doing like a full train on each other? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to imagine. <laughs> A triangle. No. Sure. Oh. Triangle of sorts. Yeah, I guess it was more of a triangle. I don't know. I left. I was like, went to go get a snack. I was like, why? And then they continued? Yeah. So. I was, yeah, I was like genuinely like how, what life decisions have I made that I'm here right now? I mean, (laughs) that wasn't that. I mean, so like what was happening? Can you elaborate? No. (laughs) (laughs) Were there toys involved? No. So okay. there was vodka Let's involved. Play Twenty questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to ask yes or no questions. No, no, I don't want to say that. No, I, I we just drank alcohol and then chaos ensued. And then I was like, like woke up from my alcohol haze, and I was like, what, what the fuck? I like accidentally threw an orgy one time, but it was like not full. <laughs> I wasn't. There was like seven guys having sex in my bedroom. I wasn't in there. And then I was like, what's going on? And then I was on the couch with two other guys. We were just like making out though. And then my roommate, Cammie, walked in. (laughs) And then she was like, whoa. And I was like, whoa. So that was fun. But then we all got strep throat. So like, I wouldn't do it again. Anyway. What if like uh, someone walks in like, yo, bro, we're all the girls. (laughs) What's happening here? (laughs) I'd be like. Um, I think you're at the wrong address. <laughs> He's like, I accidentally threw like an orgy. I mean, like I put on Craigslist like by accident. And I was like, hey, guys, like, are you here for the gangbang? Like 2 p.m. Come come by. I forgot to say it was gay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Wow. That sounds like a blast. Yeah, I've never been. That's not for me. Yeah. Have you had like a threesome orgy moment? No, I literally said I've never had threesomes or someone spit on me or come in my face. Not that like, no, that's never. I'm just too jealous. Like, I'm just not my thing. It's okay that we're different. We like different things. Your perfect yeah. person will have. Totally. Your I mean, I am thing. kinky in bed, but like just with one other person. I mean, I would be kinky if like I wouldn't mind if someone like watched me have sex. But that's about cool. it. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Good yeah. to know. <laughs> so right. we'll be that. Well, that's next time. Amen. Well, is there anything you guys? Is there anything else you guys want to add? No one told me I'm pretty today. That's fine. You, so you are beautiful. gorgeous. We told you that before we yeah, even started because it was real. Yeah, you walked in and we were like, hey, gorgeous. Oh, nice. <laughs> of course. You didn't tell us that we're pretty today. I'm so Yeah, you just told us we're needy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. Off. <laughs> this is my problem with dating. This is what happens. I think nice things and then I don't say it. And then all it comes out like, you're needy. <laughs> it's hard to say you're like, nice Jack, you're clingy. Like <laughs> no, I think you guys are both great. Like, I was, when I was preparing for the when I was like, oh, we're going to meet up, I was like, should I hit on Amy the whole time and just, like, make her uncomfortable? And, like, I wanted to do that, but then I guess, you like... You didn't do it at I all. I was so tired. I <laughs> forgot. She said she'd pay for your ticket if you that's get one, so, so that's, like, a hot. sugar mama thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, wait, Amy, what's your type? If anything, you guys flatted the whole time. Fine, I'll take it. <laughs> well, I just, like, love everyone. Yeah. I flirt with anyone. <laughs> <laughs> what is my type? I honestly don't know. Musician. Okay, I what? think your type yeah. is is angsty people who Red's look like up. Amy, sure. who act like Amy, yeah. and who do internet things like Amy. No, not wait. What is up with that? I just you know what I just realized that because when I'm attracted to girls, it's usually girls who look like me. And when I'm attracted to boys, it's, it's sister definitely wives boys and brother, brother like husbands. Me. That's what it is. I mean, there is a like there is like a actual like studied thing about liking people who look similar to you because 
um sense i don't of home. know why <laughs> sense of home baby or i think it just like when you obviously when you get super close to someone like marry them and have family you are a family you add them to your family mm. so i think there might be something of like oh they look like they could literally come from my family that is like kind of weird <laughs> but like kinda kind weird. of true yeah. Is that the research or you're not sure? No, I think there actually is. I don't know if that's the reason, but I think I'm just guessing. But there is research that like you like people who look like you, which is weird. I don't think. But there's a certain uh, level. There's a certain level of opposite of that because you also need you also want someone who has a different um, number of genes than you. So you don't get like weird recessive traits that like when I have like weird recessive anything. (laughs) Yeah. Well, gays aren't. I am into wears a lot of black, angsty uh uh five two <laughs> shorter hair oh hey no maybe has an accent is off australian <laughs> <laughs> okay so i feel like i didn't hit any of those categories because i'm like really no, but tall she kind of likes a blonde right now so what? is it me i don't like anyone is any- it me yeah i have a huge <laughs> huge crush on you violet <laughs> Stop, uh, I'm not let's ready. Let's go get breakfast after this. <laughs> let's move in after this. <laughs> yes, yeah. let's do you all. <laughs> I have three cats, so get ready. You have three cats, I have one. <gasps> a family. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I do feel like Jack and I should date too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I really we think all that could. you guys are more compatible than me with either of you. No, you're probably really compatible. I think we Jack all too. could have We're like a really nice. I'm not compatible. We could all we be could really all good be, roommates. We could least. all date really well without sexually touching each other. For sure. Yeah. Okay. Amy and I could sexually touch each we other. We could be roommates. We, <laughs> we all could be great roommates. Right? I just like love flirting. <laughs> of course. Who doesn't? All day, every day with anyone. Me. I'll. What, you guys really have been though. I can't even look right now. I'm like, getting butterflies. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Show me a dick pic. Just kidding. I'm I'll kidding. Show you, I'm that. I'll show Hull. Oh, Jack. What? Come on. That's who you take it pictures is, of? It is 10 in the morning. You take pictures of your holes? <laughs> holes? I, the okay, one there's hole. one. There's one. That's the, what you take a picture of? Well, how do you do that? You just sit down, spread your legs open, and, take, and like spread your butt cheeks and just take a picture of that? Do you want to see? No. Yes. It's like I want to say no, but it's so fascinating. Like I have to look. I don't want to see. You actually want to see? Yes. Let me just see your butthole. Okay, oh, my this God. This was like back when I was like... Bottom, 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 Jack, bottom, you, bottom, bottom, bottom. Come on, let me just bottom, see your butthole. Bottom, it's bottom. fine. I'm working on it. It's Hold fine. on. It's fine. Amy, do you send nudes? Um, no. Okay. Do you actually want to see? Yes, her? I want to see your butthole. Okay, don't swipe, please. Oh God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, that's not as bad. Okay. It's kind that of, that's fine. Kind of you pretty, it, right? No, that looked pretty. Yeah. yeah, it's pink. You made Thank it you. seem. No, it's nice. No, I when I was thinking of like a picture of butthole, I thought it was gonna be like close up, and it just like you spread open your butt cheeks, and then just like just the hole, like the whole screen no, is the hole. I used to have <laughs> that looks great. I used to have a wall of mirrors. <laughs> so you shave everything. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. No, actually, I don't anymore. I've grown up. I think. I think you change your my things. My butthole's like- lasered. Mine too. That's amazing. <laughs> Amy, stop flirting with me. You said you're wait, not into it. Okay, me. wait. I th- I've thought about stop doing flirting. that before. Should I do it? Is it yeah. worth it? Yeah, yeah you should, should totally do that. Yeah. <laughs> Although one time one time at a gay bar, this hot guy came up to me and he was like, Hey, you're really cute. And I was like, Thanks. And he was like, I bet you have a hot, hairy ass. And I was like, Ugh. And I was like, So some guys are into so that he's not, your into. <laughs> <laughs> he's not your person. He's not your person. All right. Well, anyway, is there anything you guys want to add before we go away? Listen to Dating Straight. Violet's on our next yeah. episode. Oh, it's probably out already. It so is listen a to that. Hoot. That episode's about sex, and we go, probably say even more than yeah. we did yeah. here today. Yeah. yeah, definitely check out Dating Straight. It's on every tuesday See every tuesday, tuesday on yeah. everything check out their instagrams where can people find you um at amy oddman at dating straight yeah at dating straight on twitter and instagram yeah at jack at, on dodge. jack dodge on instagram um youtube oh yeah i have a youtube yeah. channel and there's well. a dating straight youtube as well oh, yeah. you want to watch the videos totally got it so it's just your first and last names are on every channel so it's the same and then dating, dating straight. straight is on every platform yeah. as well yes and i think um yeah violet's podcast is definitely like more um Aren't you? helpful <laughs> well but also helpful like if you actually want help 
come stay here <laughs> if you um want to just people can listen to both feel I'm bad about this of part course out. no but if you want to feel bad about yourself we're here for you too yeah no what people can feel bad to, okay people can hear you can listen to more than one podcast check out their podcast for sure thank you guys so much for joining i feel like this episode was a little different where it was just us like conversing versus me asking like straight up questions but it was fun and um Thanks for having I have us. to figure out why oh, yeah. I cried. And um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I forgot about that. Wow. Oh, shit. I forgot about that, too. Yeah. <laughs> so, again, thank, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love you guys. Um, don't forget to give me five stars and leave me a review, please. Oh, if yeah. you have a negative review, that's fine. Just don't take the time to do it. that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in for another episode of Too Tired to Be Crazy. And I'll see you guys next Thursday. And this will also be on my YouTube channel. Love you. Bye. 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 Bye.